Alright, simple and casual video guys. I'll be trying all 1490 brands instant cup noodle flavors. But as you can see, I'm actually missing one flavor because it's very hard to find. I'll promise there'll be no any food wastage as I'll be trying all of them throughout the week. So if maybe throughout the week I can find the 14th flavor, then of course I'll just leave it in the tier list. But yeah, so far we have 13. Of course, we will start off with the most basic flavor, which is the soup ayam. Soup ayam meaning uh, chicken soup. Uh. So yeah, since this is the most basic, so let's try this one first. Okay, so actually I had this a few days ago and to be honest, we are even trying now. I'm just gonna put this in the F tier. Because to be honest, if you're going to serve me this, you might as well serve me plain water lah, because I think they taste almost the same. <laughs> If you guys are saying that this is higher than F, then... Hiya! Regardless, I've already finished it. Alright, on to the second flavor. Okay, I'll be trying the curry cow extra together with the curry flavor as well because I think it's best to try both together at least we can know the difference. So curry cow extra meaning that it has a more thicker and richer flavor of the curry. So yeah, let's try. Oh, so that's why they call it cow extra because basically they just give more powder. <laughs> Okay, so while we are waiting for this one, we just try the normal curry flavor first up. Huh? I've actually tried this before but to be honest, I can't recall how it tastes like. So yeah, let's try it. Yeah, I think I'm starting to recall the, the curry flavor now. Um, to be honest, it doesn't even taste like curry. Yeah. It just tastes like soup with spices. <laughs> but okay, like, actually it does, it does taste nice. Let me try, let me try again. Yeah, it, it doesn't taste that bad. Lah. I think I'll just put it in the E tier, I guess, where it belongs. Yeah, let, maybe let's try the curry cow extra. Lah. Maybe it will taste better, I guess. And look at the difference. The normal curry flavor actually looks more red compared to the, the curry cow extra one. Uh, it looks pretty black, but yeah, let's try, let's try the taste first. what I think about this. Mm. Okay, uh, to be honest, it, it does taste better than the normal curry flavor one. I would say the taste is stronger and it's more spicier. If I would compare the both, I think this is, this is better. Lah. So if this one is in the E tier, I think this one... Mm. I'm not sure whether it's, it's C or D, but... Mm. Yeah, you know what, to be honest, I think I just put it at D. Uh, then we can just ship it around after we try the other flavors. Oh my god, I'm so damn full. Okay guys, so it's already dinner time. So for the next flavor that I will try is uh, Asam Laksa. And I'm actually quite interested in this one because you know, I'm from Penang and it's Laksa. So yeah, I hope. I hope Maggie doesn't fail me. Okay, so to be honest, the first impression is uh, kind of bad because <laughs> uh, I did not expect this kind of color. It looks pretty plain. So yeah, I hope the flavor is, actually, is at least okay. Lah. So yeah, let's try. Mm, the smell is actually pretty nice. I think this might be more worse than the, the chicken soup flavor one. It's quite sour. Oh my god, I, I don't even feel like finish, finishing this one to be honest. But I, I gave my promise at the start of the video, so yeah, I think I just finished it. There's nothing I can comment more on this. It's just really bad. Uh. I don't even have to think about it. This belongs in the F tier. And because it tastes so bad that I'm even willing to give soup ayam the E tier. Oh. I, I just can't I just can't explain how bad it is. So yeah. Three different tom yum flavors. Oh 
shit, I fucked up. Alright, while we are waiting for the noodles to be cooked, just let me explain why why I fucked up on this one. Because this one is actually supposed to be me goreng. I was supposed to pour out the hot water and put the ingredients in. But I didn't I didn't see it carefully and I already put the ingredients in. So it's supposed to be dry. So uh, yeah, I think I will just put this one aside. Uh, but I, of course I did promise that I won't waste any food. So I think I'll just eat this with the soup. Uh. Yeah, actually I already had this flavor before. And of, out of all the three basic flavors, which is Tom Yum, curry and the basic soup, uh, chicken soup I think I will say that Tom Yum is the best la. So yeah I haven't had this in years And yeah I think the flavour The taste still holds up pretty well And I might even give this an S tier But since I have not tried the other flavours yet I will just put this at A tier first See I've already finished the first Tom Yum flavour So now let's go to the next one Same like the curry one This one has a uh, more extra thickness to the taste so yeah I have not tried this one before so let's see how it goes oh yeah just to show you guys the soup okay um, I know I did mention that this one is supposed to have an extra or more extra flavor to it compared to the, the first common flavor but to be honest it, it tastes less flavor wise compared to the first one you know I expected more but yeah, I, I still like this one actually, but I would put it at A. Maybe I'll put it at B here. Imagine, if you will, sitting down to your morning coffee, turning right, on So yeah, I reshot the third Tom Yum flavor, which is the Perdas the uh, Dila one, the super spicy flavor. <sighs> Trying to catch my breath. Yeah, the taste is pretty nice. For as for the tier list, I think I put it at the B tier. It's quite funny that the Tom Yum Basic flavor ranks higher than the other two Tom Yum flavors. Yeah, the Tom Yum Basic reigns supreme. All right, it's day three now, and today I'll be trying the Goreng Chili Fiesta and the Lada Pedas Extra. So Goreng Chili Fiesta, I guess, is just like the typical Maggi Goreng, just that it's more spicier, I guess. And for the Lada Pedas Extra, I don't really know what flavour is this to be honest. So yeah, based on the product information from the Maggi page, I think it's a more peppery flavour taste. I'm kind of looking forward to this. Even the marketing picture looks very nice. The pepper smell in this one is really strong. Alright, so I'm stirring up the Goreng Chili Fiesta. Okay, to be honest, the taste is not that bad, but I'm not expecting the kind of taste that I, I want it to be because it has a more sweeter taste to it and I don't feel any of the spices from it. So yeah, uh, I won't rank it so high for this one. So yeah, for the Goreng Chili Fiesta one, I will rank it at D tier. If you were to ask me that I will try it a second time, most probably not. <laughs> so yeah, let's try the Lada Podas extra one. Right, because the smell in this one is like really peppery, I think I'll try I'll taste the soup first. Mm, it's quite decent actually. <laughs> mm, to be honest, I don't really know how I would explain this one because it's basically soup with pepper, but it's not that strong, uh, I would say it has a more lighter side to it and at first when I tried the soup, it has a little flavour but after a few bites of the noodles, the flavour starts to become a little more plain. It has a first good impression on the soup but after a few bites, I think I'll put this one at the E tier. Yeah. Alright, so it's dinner time and I'll be trying the seafood brabi flavor. Basically, it's a seafood flavor. Holy shit, I don't think you guys can tell from the video, but this looks super red. <laughs> I'm actually really scared. <laughs> oh, even the smell is so spicy. Okay, it's really spicy. But flavor-wise, it actually tastes pretty nice. Ah, 
after I finish it and I can't talk properly now so just to make, th make this quick flavor wise the seafood barbie is really nice yeah I think I'll put this at 8 here with the tom yum okay so this is my third pedas gila flavor and this round is the ayam bakar which means grilled chicken and one thing I noticed that the pedas gila has in common is that they are so spicy that I don't even taste the base flavor so yeah for the grilled chicken pedas gila flavor I'll put this at B alright the two fusion flavor one is karai miso and one is the sarang kimchi so yeah one is Japanese influence and one is the Korean influence to be honest, I'm not that looking forward for both of these flavors because you know, when the country outside of Japan and Korea try to imitate the flavor of Japan and Korea, usually it doesn't taste that good. So yeah, I hope I hope I'm wrong. So yeah, let's try the Sarah Kimchi flavor first. Kind of disappointed with the Korean chili paste. Doesn't taste anything like kimchi. And I just saw from their product page that the Sarang Kimchi only has a 2.5 star rating. So yeah, not that good. Sarang Kimchi. E tier. Yeah, sorry for the lack of commentary. I'm just tired of eating so many cup noodles in the span of 4 days So yeah, karai miso Nice advertising, but flavor wise, pretty bland Karai miso is an E tier for me it's now time for the final Maggi flavor Okay, it's not time for the final Maggi flavor Unfortunately, I couldn't manage to find the 14th flavor But if you guys have any idea know where to get it Please do let me know as I'm really interested to try the 14th flavor So yeah, after trying all 13 Maggi flavors Here is the final tier list So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video Ciao